let's talk a little bit about the uh, St. Louis County Police. They were in charge. The governor says no more. The Highway Patrol is coming in. What did they do wrong? Well, first and for foremost, um, the, the greatest flaw is not to understand that you have a flaw. And when you have a community that is becoming increasingly uh, diverse, uh, it would make sense to most police uh, departments that we've got to have a diverse police department. They don't have that. And I think that, uh, if you talk to the people uh, who, who are going coming in and out of the community every day, they'll tell you that there's, there's a lingering problem with the police. And so uh, I think that uh, they were ill-equipped to handle a crisis like this. They didn't acknowledge it. They didn't say we need help. Uh, and I think also uh, uh, some of the officers there, I think, uh, seem to have the idea that the Constitution is not uh, a document that we have to uh, embrace. I mean, you don't arrest reporters. You don't take their equipment in the United States. That's what they do, uh, you know, in Syria. Uh, and, and so I think they somehow uh, need to be retrained and, uh, and, deseg and desegregated. What did you think of what the President of the United States had to say today about what's going on in Ferguson? Well, I, th I think the president had to speak. He said all of the right things. Keep in mind, however, that the hoodlums are not going to be listening to what the president says. Uh, they, they are going to stand uh, in the shadows, hoping that things can uh, become chaotic enough so that they can come and steal and rip off. The overwhelming majority of the people, 99% of the people who want to protest, simply want to express their displeasure with what has happened uh, to Michael Brown. They, they are angry. And many of them don't believe that they're going to get justice. They, they uh, believe that this is going to be wh whitewashed by the police department there. And so now that the president is saying we, got, we have the Justice Department, the FBI involved, I think people are feeling a little bit better. But it has to uh, continue. Uh, and I think uh, all of the elected officials from uh, Congressman Lacey Clave, the president, the governor, uh, Senator McCaskill, they're all saying and doing the right things. And that's why I think tonight, you're going to see a lot less of, of volatility. Uh, uh, I will join some of the ministers of the community uh, tomorrow uh, uh, evening uh, when we will begin to try to worship and, and talk about uh, what is necessary for healing. And, uh, and then I think uh, over the next few days, you're going to see a quietening of everything. But I have to say, uh, you know, if the police or not very careful, we could have another tragedy. And, and if, that, if we have another tragedy, then everything I've said should be erased because there's no telling what could happen.